Well, let's move on now to our other big story and the big focus of tonight's bulletin as well. A 14-year-old filled with so much anger over a teacher complaining about his school performance that he would resort to murder, a family torn apart. Deadly rage and outrage, that's what Chennai and indeed the entire nation is dealing with. 24 hours after a class 9 student stabbed his Hindi and physics teacher to death, Uma Maheshwari was buried in the city today by friends and family. Sam Daniel reports. Without her, we are not in, I think I never will, I never, don't pass in 10th standard exam, but because of her only I get a high score and passed in first class. She was not strict at all. She was very lenient person to all students. She was so kind to us. In the class, somebody does it good in education. She always used to bring the chocolates in the cover and used to give for the children to encourage them to come up in the life. A sea of colleagues and friends, current and former students, even their parents came to bid final goodbye to 40-year-old Uma Maheshwari, a very popular teacher of physics and Hindi for nearly seven years at the St. Mary's Anglo-Indian High Secondary School in Chennai. Thursday, about 10.50 a.m., Maheshwari was entering a first-floor room for the class 9 Hindi period when a 14-year-old student of the same class rushed in with a knife, slashed her throat and stabbed her in the abdomen and chest. He was allegedly upset because she had sent a note to his parents saying there's been 0% improvement in his Hindi performance over the last month. The boy has been arrested and detained in a juvenile home. He comes from an upper middle class family and has four sisters. The youngest among his siblings, police say till eight months ago his aunt who is childless had adopted him. There are suggestions that he was a little headstrong and pampered. Other day, George Bush Sr. was telling if a child watches from 3rd year to 18th year, 15 years if they watch a TV, they are watching 2 lakhs rape scenes and murder scenes. This also have an impact on a child. Born a Hindu, she practiced Christianity and has been buried. She leaves behind a husband and two teenage daughters who she dreamt would become IS officers. In Chennai with camera person Sukumar and Venkat, Sam Daniel. Find the TV. Well, what drove that young student to that kind of anger? We'll be discussing that. Uh, joining me, of course, from Chennai, my colleague Sam Daniel, uh, and in the studios here in Delhi, Dr. Amit Sen, one of the senior most child psychiatrists in the country. Sam, let's go across first uh, to you. I want to ask you, uh, we're talking about outrage in Chennai uh, and the fact that obviously the teacher's family is distraught. But what are people saying about what may have provoked this young boy? Maya, what we hear from police is that this particular student was very weak in Hindi and the teacher in her progress report had mentioned that there was no improvement in his performance compared to what he had secured last month and that police suspect could have actually provoked <coughs> him. He had planned for a few days and things worked out the way he had planned yesterday when the teacher was alone soon after entering the class. He had took, taken his, uh, the knife he had hidden inside his book and stabbed her. She suffered multiple injuries and died and police say that could be the reason that could have provoked him for this but they are studying very carefully his past both his academic performance and his other general behavior whether he was suffering from any other disorder and then police say they'd be able to have a clear picture but as of now it appears that the comment the teacher had made in the progress report seems to have provoked him to kill her ndtv's cricket app android and iphone Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.